<laughs> all right, let's take a look at the weather around the region. A lot of rain in some areas. Other areas, not that much at all. Glen Burnie, just, just under an inch. Kevin Day in Odenton, 8,600. Roy in Annapolis, about three quarters. Dave and Phyllis in Venable. Look at this. In Centerville, two and a quarter inches of rain. So some areas really got hammered. Other areas, not that much at all. TV Hill, just about a third of an inch. Pretty amazing at the airport. They're down to 73. Humidity, of course, way up there. But thought we'll meet some fog overnight. West winds, very light now at, at five miles. Now, the barometer is steady. It'll be rising later tonight and during the day tomorrow. We'll have power pressure building in with more sunshine. Right now, all the rain we saw today, there it is, out in the Atlantic Ocean, east of New Jersey, just moving off the coast of Maryland quite nicely. And it continues to move out to the sea. A lot of heavy rain still going on right along the beaches there. They will continue to head out to the east. Clear skies around the region now, at least partly cloudy skies. One little lone shower there in West Virginia. That's going to head south of us. The actual front is still to the west of us, so maybe a chance of a brief shower in a couple of spots later tonight, early in the morning. Otherwise, temperatures now back in the 70s. We'll be having the rain cooling things down. Only 63 degrees in Oakland, 73 in D.C., 77 now in Annapolis. We still have that uh, area of flood warning, not a flash flood warning, but we had quite a bit of flooding reported, particularly in, in the Harford County area. Eastern section to Baltimore County, the gunpowder, some of those smaller streams up there still having some uh, flood issues. That will be in effect till apparently like 1.30. This is a coastal flood advisory for the coastal area there. Tides maybe one to two feet perhaps above normal in the eastern sections of AA County. Meanwhile, that front continues to head off to the east. See all the shower activity all the way from the Carolinas up to New England to the west, clearing skies just west of us. One little batch of showers kind of weakening there just east of Pittsburgh. Beautiful clear skies across Ohio. That'll be with us tomorrow. So the front moves through late tonight. Oh, in the morning hours, yes, we'll see some clearing skies. Looks like a pretty nice weekend. Not so nice if you're heading down Louisiana. Don't even think about it. Winds are up now to 50 miles an hour. Expected to be close to a Category 1 storm as it makes landfall in Louisiana sometime early on Saturday or maybe maybe late Friday night as it continues to weaken as it heads inland. All the models do have it headed right for the Louisiana coast and western Mississippi area there. And that'll be late tomorrow into the weekend. So for us, part of the cloud is still mild overnight. Maybe a brief shower south or west of us, 71. Tomorrow becoming mainly sunny, very warm, 91 degrees tomorrow. Look at the weekend, 91, 92, a lot of sunshine, but rain free by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Humidity begins to come back a little bit. Could see a thunder shower there Tuesday, Wednesday, and again on Thursday is humidity. Certainly we'll be back here in the middle of July.